With the Tesla solar inverter closed and turned on, the next step is to commission the equipment with the Tesla One app. Launch the Tesla One app and log in with your Tesla account credentials. Select Begin Install, then select Scan QR Code. Scan this QR code located within the inverter to join its Wi-Fi network and launch Setup app. Installers may be prompted to allow their commissioning device to connect to other devices on the local network or to allow location consent. Accepting these permissions is required to proceed. Once connected to the inverter, the app will open to the Tesla Solar Inverter landing page. At the top of the screen is a representation of power flow throughout the home's electrical system. Because the system has not yet been commissioned, no power is flowing through the diagram. Below the power flow diagram are the system's start and stop buttons. By default, the system is off and must remain off while configuring settings. Below this are the titles for each of the main sections. System shows vital information for each installed device, as well as meter configuration and viewing the progress of self-tests. Settings is where installers will enter the grid code for voltage and frequency along with the solar installation type. Networking is used to connect the system to the internet. Registration is where the customer, installer, and any partner information is entered, giving them visibility of the system in various platforms. Software is used to check for device updates. And finally, the summary tile provides an overview of the installation, including the serial numbers of all installed equipment and an overview of operation settings. Each of the tiles will display either a green check mark indicating that no action is needed, or a red or yellow exclamation mark indicating that attention is required. These flagged items are also shown at the bottom of the page in the alerts tray, which can be used as a shortcut for installers to address important issues. When every tile has a green check mark, the system is ready to operate. Note that Tesla's solar inverter requires internet connection to receive its full warranty. Tap on Networking to set up the connection. For the most reliable connection, Tesla Solar Inverter should be connected to the customer's Wi-Fi or hardwired to the customer's internet router with an Ethernet cable. With the network connection configured, tap on Test Internet Connection before proceeding. Return to the landing page and tap on Software. This page will indicate if a software update is required, recommended, or if the system is up to date. Some tiles will have an alert at the beginning of commissioning for every installation, like the settings tile. The first setting on this page is the grid code, which sets the system's voltage and frequency based on region and utility provider. This setting must be configured before the system can operate. Select solar installation type to configure the site as having either solar panels or Tesla solar roof. This field is required for solar to function properly and for the Tesla app to display the correct visuals. Select either solar panel or solar roof and then tap done. Moving on to the system tile, there are two tabs, inverter and metering. The metering page displays all meters that are connected to the system, including the factory paired energy meter. Select the factory installed energy meter and configure each CT for its intended use. When needed, additional energy meters can also be paired on this page. The other option under System, the Inverter page, displays the vitals for all installed solar inverters, including solar generation, the inverter state, and the AC and DC voltage and current. The default maximum current output for Tesla solar inverter with site controller is 32 amps, which is the equivalent of 7.6 kilowatts. This value can be permanently configured to any one of the following current levels during commissioning. Please note, the maximum current output can only be configured once. If this value needs to be changed after initial setting, installers will need to contact Tesla support. When using the maximum current output setting, document the configured output on a PCS label on the solar inverter. Next, navigate to the customer registration page. Begin by completing the installer information page. When an additional party needs visibility to the system in PowerHub, use the Add Partner button to enter their information. Then, 
Tap Continue. Use the Show a Code or text the Customer option to allow the customer to enter their information. If the customer is not available, select Customer is Unavailable and complete the registration form on their behalf. When returning to the landing page, all yellow and red exclamation points should now be replaced with green check marks. Check the alerts tray at the bottom of the screen for any actions that must be taken by the installer. After all alerts have been addressed, tap on Start System to turn the system on and automatically begin device updates. Navigate to the Devices tab on the System page to track the progress of any updates. When device updates are complete, select the Solar Inverter and select Enable. This will initiate a series of automatic self-tests. When self-tests are complete, the inverter state will switch to active. With the inverter commissioned, ensure that the inverter door is latched and that the captive screw has been tightened to secure it closed. Ask the customer to open their Tesla app and verify that they have visibility of their system. Customers who already have a Tesla vehicle will swipe on the home screen to view their solar inverter system. Demonstrate the capabilities of the Tesla app to the customer such as how to adjust settings and view power consumption and production. The installation of the Tesla solar inverter is now complete.